welcome back to Candia at the Age. Uh, this is Candia at the Age Journal. Um, I'm here to share with you April's Genevieve Design Team um, template that I used for this month. It's the Remnants Lovely Layers. I'm excited to share this with you. It's her newest template that she just released, and it was so fun to use. It's a quick, cute, adorable little template. Or, or I should say album when you're done with a template um, putting it to get all together I used all the pages the only things I didn't use were some of the ribbons and tabs off of the pages but other than that I did use all the pages out of the, the templates and I used a few of the mats um, that I got cut out but not all of them um, you can see this is what I have left over from my my pages. I didn't have a lot left over because I used everything I cut out or I printed out. I even used double of some of the things I printed out. As you'll see when we get into the, the album, um, it was, uh, I used some paper that um, ha was double sided so I didn't use a lot of the matting. But I did mat a little bit. I also used the muted backgrounds from Genevieve Designs as well. I used muted background number 7, number 9, and number 12. And I will link below um, Genevieve's Etsy shop, her YouTube channel, and a video of her releasing the, the, the new template um, below in the description box. So you can find all the information of where to get all these things for both the muted backgrounds and the remnants lovely layers so now that we've gone over that let's me show you what I put together I think it turned out so cute it's an adorable little album a quick little make for a gift if you um, have something coming up that you need to make something for and uh, I use this paper line that a friend gave me, I had in my stash that is double sided. I'm not sure what collection it's from. If you know, please say so in the comments below so that others can know what it's from. I use this fun little sparkly ribbon to as the closure. Put, use one of the bows on the bottom here, some little pearl on top, and a little flower to in the center of the bow. I did this on the spine I matted it with the same paper and I matted it in the on the back with the same paper. On the inside I matted it right here, added a, these pretty little birds and used one of the little flip things out of the template and a little envelope with a little insert there that I tucked inside this little pocket and then I have a little tuck spot here this actually is supposed to be a banner and I turned it into a little tuck spot I just glue ran a little bead of glue along this side so the thing wouldn't go all the way through so that it could be a little tuck spot there instead of a banner or a belly band, I mean, I should say. And then on this page, this is supposed to be a pocket, but I cut off one of the three sides of the tabs, so it's a little tuck spot now. And I tucked into it one of the other envelopes from the templates that has another little insert in it. And then this page flips up, lots of flips, and this is a pocket. Oh, I forgot to fill that pocket, uh, um, tag pocket. And then here's a little tuck. Um, I use this as a little tuck spot for there. And then here's a little pocket on the bottom that I tucked this little insert into. Here's the belly band again that I tucked this pretty insert into. 
here's a little side pocket. And I put this little insert into it. And it's slipping out, so it's folding the paper there. And then here's one of the tags, and I just glued it on as to make it as a tuck spot. And I tucked a little another one of the little tags into it. And this is one of the envelopes that comes in the kit, and I glued it onto this main base page. And I put a little insert into it and tucked one of the little other envelopes with its insert in it right into it so you get a lot of little tucks and pockets and all kinds of goodies to explore in this little journal and then here I use this again as another little tuck spot and then there's a gusseted pocket in here so I took one of the um, inserts that can be just like a booklet. So here it is as just like a booklet. And here it is, I made it into a little journal spot. Added some pages to it, did a quick little staple for the spine. And then since I have a lot of, there's a lot of bird images on the papers in here, I added this pretty bird image. On this side, there's a tuck spot right there with a pocket that's in the template. And then a little pocket right there that I added some inserts into. And then here I added another tag with a little insert into and then the pocket here has a little insert so there's that little journal and as you can see I added a lot of little flowers and bling and a lot of little ribbons to it you can embellish this up as much as you want or as little as you want and it can it just can be any different way you want it the way you lay it out the tucks and pockets and it can be so diverse as to how this journal or album looks depending on how you lay it out it can be something different each time you make it so that is this journal and what i want to share with you today it is how i made this little flower that i put in this journal so this is just a piece of string that i had and i turned it into a flower So I had it with this string and then I had this piece of ribbon here, cotton ribbon, that I cut up and made it as the leaves, as you can see on here, and then I just glued some bling on top. So what I did is I just took one end and I cut a little bit of a length off of it. And I took my Fabri-Tac glue by Beacon and I start on the center and I just, let me get the glue to come down here. You can do this with your glue gun too. I just like to save my fingers and use my, because I tend to get um, glue the hot glue all over my fingers and then it I burn myself a lot and so this works sticks together rather quickly as just as well with the Fabri-Tac so I just put a little bit on the center and start rolling it and then I add, just add glue every little bit And as you roll it, it becomes like this 
cute little rosette shape. And at the end, I kind of tuck the end underneath a little bit and glue it on the bottom. Like that. So that way it kind of hides the rough edge. And you're left with that like that. And then that's where I put the leaf. And my fingers are all sticky with Fabri-Tac glue. Oh, and I'm oozing. Of course. So I just took two, and you could cut yourself something like this out of any piece of fabric. Just, you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect cut. And I just took two of these and I just kind of glued them together to pucker them up. And then I glued them onto the back side of here. And they look kind of like leaves. We're getting kind of a monochromatic look with this flower. And then I took some bling with the other flower and I glued it into the center. And this one I thought I'd use this pretty pearl. And I think I'll use the largest one. And I'll dab a little glue in the center. And then I'll pop the pearl right on top there. And that is how I made that little flower. It's pretty easy and you can make it to match your album, any album you're doing, your, your, um, your string or rope can be, you know, whichever color that matches your papers that you're doing and your bling can match your, your project as well. And then you have custom little flowers to go with your project. And it's easy as that. And I think they look adorable. Cute little flowers. So that is how I did that. And um, so I hope you guys had a fun and got inspired by what I was sharing with you today. Um, if you would, please leave me a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.